So, the XFL is coming back in 2022. Very, very happy about that. The Rock and Danny Garcia are going to have things under control, I can guarantee you. Um, this video was announced early, early this morning, um, about 10 o'clock over here um, in the central time zone. And The Rock and Danny Garcia put out a little video, and it's for the love of football that they'll be coming back in 2022. Now, there's a lot of things that have to be stated first off um who is going to be the broadcast partners now aside from fox because espn has kind of pulled out of things um uh, i'd expect somebody new to come on and step in maybe you know if espn can be wooed back um they could put the games back on abc like they were supposed to be um to make it like you know a Double header type thing with the um, with the NBA stuff like that, um, and which of the teams are going to return? I think you know there shouldn't have been a team in Dallas. I'm just gonna you know, just gonna say that right now because Globe Light Park was not it. There shouldn't have been a team in New York. Definitely shouldn't have been a team in New York. Uh, those are the only two that I can really think were like, uh, why? Uh, you know, because uh, I mean, Dallas fans just do like I'm telling you, like it's a revolving door around here. Um, like, of course, we care about the Cowboys all season, and then you know the Mavs, the Stars, and then the Rangers. You know, but I personally don't care for the Rangers or the Stars, so uh, I'm just kind of stuck. You know, with just um, a couple months off, you know, not caring about sports. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Those are the teams that I don't think should return, but should be relocated, move somewhere else. Um, St. Louis Battlehawks looked great. You know, they had beautiful uniforms. They were back in St. Louis. Everything was cool. Everything was fine. And, I mean, it, it was just totally fine. I mean, I think the XFL needs to establish itself in areas where the NFL is not, where, where places are football starved. Omaha is still football starved. Y'all remember the Nighthawks, I think, for the Uf, UFL? Yeah, yeah, Omaha is definitely football starved. I can definitely tell that's one of those places that's football starved. They love some football down there. But, yeah. Should be interesting to see how, you know, things go. And, you know, more XFL football is the best football. Well, not the best football because, I mean, quality play is good enough. But not as good as the NFL. Let's just be real. But, yeah. So, XFL returns in 2022. And we'll see who in the world... What in the world happens?